Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian, a medical student from Australia. And today is my first day of third year. That's right, third year. I am halfway through my degree. And I think that is absolutely wild. The first two years just flew by. But today is an orientation day and we have six and a half hours of Zoom lectures. So before I run late on the first day, I'm gonna quickly join those. We stayed up till the morning. Talking to the first light of dawn Just like fate without no warning So I'm on a quick 25 minute lunch break and in the morning we did a rapid fire introduction to everything that we can expect in third and fourth year and so these are the clinical years and they're going to be broken up into different clinical terms and so we're going to be given four to five different clinical terms each of them covering a different aspect of medicine so that could be things like critical care um, surgery, internal medicine, community, which is going out into a general practice. And for my first term, I'll be doing internal medicine, covering respiratory and geriatrics. So we had a lot of different clinicians talking to us about what we can expect, um, the type of assessments in each term, and they stressed the importance of a good work-life balance. So there's a lot of things to look forward to in the next coming weeks. But for now, I'm gonna relax for the next 20 minutes or so, and then I'll head back to join the Zoom call. Alright guys, so we're back in the car and we're cooling off because it is 32 degrees out in this Australian summer. Um, but Dev and I had a bit of a hit. We're not the greatest, we're kind of just rookie tennis players, it's a bit of fun. Um, but we're going to head back home and just relax for the rest of the evening. Morning guys, so Deb and I are driving to the Royal National Park and we pretty much arrived, we're just going through the little road that gets you into it. There's a big sign out here saying expect delays, so hopefully we don't get um, caught up, but it's been a beautiful drive over, um, it's extremely hot, I think it's about 33 degrees right now and the UV index is at 10, um, but we're going to have a walk around. Alright guys, so we just arrived to the start of the trail and the reason why we're actually at the Royal National Park today is because I have a day off. We don't have class scheduled in for today or tomorrow, so it's a bit of a half week and they're really easing us in back into the clinical work. But next week is sort of when we officially start. That's when I'm going to be assigned my clinical teams and my supervisor for who I'm going to be following around. So I'm going to try and make the most of these free days and then we have more clinical work on Thursday. <laughs> Okay, so we're halfway towards Wedding Cake Rock. The whole walk's about three and a half k's. And the coastal breeze is actually making it a lot nicer. But we're gonna take a quick stop by this cliff because the view is spectacular. Cheers to all the haters cause you proved to me yeah. that rising to the top was my destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, yeah. but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm 
still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. I was on to something. Alright guys, so we got to the end of the walk and this is the wedding cake rock. It's unfortunately all fenced off because of safety reasons of course, but you can see behind me that this little slab of rock is perfectly aligned like a little square wedding cake. So that's where everybody gets their uh, money shot when they come here. But we're gonna rehydrate for a bit and then we're gonna make the way back. All right, so we just got back to the car and we are super hot, super sweaty. So we're gonna head to Macca's and grab some frozen Cokes. Alright guys, so we're at the shops now. We just finished up having dinner. We had a bunch of different pizzas, which is completely unhealthy, but um, really, really tasty. When you get this Taiwanese dessert, it's like grass jelly and stuff. So Deborah is never satisfied. We just finished the grass jelly and she wants to get more. And we're gonna head back home before him pulls by something else. Morning guys, so it is Wednesday morning and it's another day without class for me. So I will be kicking off the day with a tutoring session with a new student of mine. We're going over the GAMSAT, so I'm gonna quickly join the Zoom um, and get started. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, how are you going? Cool, so we're doing the GAMSAT today. Every time I'm trying to learn a concept, I just imagine an analogy in my head. So I'm brown eyed, um, but I carry a blue recessive. My genotype is brown blue in terms of like the dominant brown allele and the recessive blue allele, but my phenotype is actually I have brown eyes. The tutoring session is done and it's time to film the 100K Q&A. Alright guys, so we just got back home and we're feeling pretty full after lunch but we're gonna relax, watch some TV for a few hours and then later tonight I might edit the video and do a bit of respiratory revision. Seven hours later, we have finally finished the video, which is now rendering, and I'll post it on YouTube in a second. So I have to go to bed ASAP because tomorrow we're starting super early. It's a nine o'clock start. We're gonna be doing cannulation and venipuncture practice. Um, so super excited, gonna shower and head to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. On the bus towards the hospital now, this morning we have two clinical skill sessions lined up. I think one's on venipuncture, I'm not sure what the other one is. And then later in the afternoon we have a training session on electronic medical records. So it should be a full day, it should be a lot of fun and I'll see you when I'm at the hospital. Get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. 
Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push our lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. Miss that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday. Turn a blue day to a bright hue, yellow with a smooth A in here. Extra fruit the brand, you can't move me. The music is man, it's a con job, but this grand. I'm blessed with a great hand. Amongst many that stink, and yeah, it took some hard work. But blind love play a huge role, and they say that it don't. When they feeding you fools gold, and if I know one thing, the truth is home. Even if it's a tough thing to swallow, an even harder thing to hold, and truly know without a doubt while on the globe. Even though that seems inherent, it ain't always so apparent. Dangle carrot, you ain't always gonna get it. But don't worry, it's a free February in a year with more to carry and more days is yet to come. Alright guys, so I just got back home and I've unpacked, I've freshened up, and I'm trying to cool off because it is currently 38 degrees outside. And we finished our EMR training session before at the hospital. It was really good, we got to see how it all works how we organize patient lists. As medical students, we're very limited for what we can do. We're allowed to view certain things and we're allowed to make progress notes, but they themselves have to get approved by one of the registrars or one of the high level consultants. And this morning, they also gave us more information about our clinical term. So next week, I'm meeting at 8.30 a.m. in the morning with one of the respiratory teams. So I'm gonna go through my computer, have a look at the course outline and to read up on a few things so I'm a little bit more prepared for next week. I think I'm finished looking through uni stuff for tonight. So it's been about an hour since I finished dinner. I'm gonna head downstairs, do a quick gym workout and then relax for the rest of the evening. Hey guys, so I'm on the train now with Deb. We just finished lunch and we're gonna head home. So this morning I had a orientation session um, with the clinical school. They went through how each of our terms are gonna be run, a little bit more information about the general practice term, about the surgery term, and we also got to ask a few questions to some of the fourth years about how they found third year, what they struggled with, what resources they used. So it was a good overview, really, really helpful for next week. I'm gonna go home, do a little bit more revision and touch up on respiratory. The reason why I'm trying to touch up on my respiratory knowledge is because next week on Monday morning, I am meeting my supervisor and the clinical team um, for ward rounds. So I wanna make sure that if they ask me a question, I'll know what's going on. And when we visit a few patients, I wanna make sure that I'm familiar with some of the more common um, pathologies or common disease cases. And from next week onwards, my typical schedule will be to meet my clinical team in the mornings for ward rounds. And then after that, it's a bit more flexible. I can either choose to carry on and follow one of the interns to see how they go about um, carrying out their work, or I can do my own independent study or independent learning. But right now, I'm gonna relax for a little bit until then. All right guys, so it is a little bit later in the night. It is currently 10 p.m. And since dinner, I've been doing nothing but relaxing and playing some video games. But I'm here with my friend, Boos has been keeping me company and we're gonna watch some TV now. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more of my vlogs. And until next time, this is Sebastian and Boos. Stay sharp.